Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine should not be seen as a faraway war for those in Asia, Estonian Prime Minister Kaya Kolas said on May 17, just as European democracies have a vested interest in the stability of the Indo-Pacific region. With several conflicts simmering in various parts of the world today, Ms. Kolas warned of the dangers of perceiving them as unrelated incidents because they are geographically distant. Pointing to history, when seemingly isolated incidents led to World War II. What is important to understand is that there are different tensions building up all across the world. She said, at a media roundtable discussion on May 17 on the sidelines of the Leonard Mary Security Conference. Ms. Kolas pointed to the ongoing border conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia. The current Middle East situation and flashpoints in the disputed South China Sea. In 1938, I think a mistake was made to treat. The Italian invasion of Abyssinia modern-day Ethiopia. The German occupation and the Japan War. As isolated events. And I think we shouldn't do that now, she added. The stakes are high for small states such as Estonia and Singapore which must raise their voices to protect principles and stand up for a rules-based order that is freeing amid a great power battle for influence among countries in the so-called Global South, said Ms. Kolas. Moreover, Estonia is a Baltic state of 1.3 million people that was part of the Soviet Union until 1991 and borders Russia. It is near the front line of the conflict in Ukraine. As small countries, we are not suspected of pushing forward our own interests when we talk about struggles. That's our strength, we must use this to explain what is at stake, she said. Responding to a question from the Straits Times. She conceded it would be naive, though, to expect countries to hold equal positions. We all come from our history, we all come from our geography. We can't really fight that. Ms. Kolas said the current world order is under threat from Russia's full-scale war in Ukraine that is now in its 27th month and, more broadly, Chinese grey zone tactics, referring to harassment and aggression that skirt near the threshold of war. Tensions are also rising in the Middle East. The security conference in Estonian capital Tallinn was marked by an air of pessimism with Russia gaining ground in an ongoing offensive in the border region of Kharkiv. Ukraine is also running low on ammunition and military equipment to repel Russia's advances. Critics have said that the war in Ukraine is dragging on due to politics, including questions over whether the country should be admitted into NATO or be offered the full range of its defenses, and even a fear of the consequences if Russia were to suffer a decisive defeat. Estonia's existential fear has guided some of the actions of its government and its people. While a small country, it has given 1.25% of its gross domestic product to Ukrainian aid and is committed to spending 0.25% of its GDP per year from now until 2027 to militarily support Ukraine, according to information provided by the Estonian government. It has also raised taxes to fund defense spending, committing 3.2% of GDP in 2024 to stockpiling munitions, Ms. Kolas said at the conference. The private sector is also stepping up. And Estonia, with its rich startup culture, it has spawned companies such as Skype, is turning its attention to defense technology, such as cyber security and autonomous weapons. At the same time, Estonia has its eye on the different tensions building up across the world. Ms. Kolas said many actions by the different state actors are subtle and nuanced. She accused Russia of actions in Africa through the mercenary Wagner Group that has triggered a migration crisis in Europe, where successive waves of migration from Africa are a politically charged issue. Russia is also gaining political sway in countries like Hungary, 
which will take over the rotating presidency of the Council of the European Union in July. In Georgia, the Russia sympathizing government is intent on pushing through a Moscow style foreign agents bill despite mass street protests. With the Russian invasion of Ukraine into the third year, the international community is growing weary of supporting Ukraine. Mr. Jonathan Sivyov, Secretary General of Estonia's Foreign Ministry, said it is incumbent on small states such as Estonia to stand up for principles in the case of Ukraine and other conflicts in the world. When we talk to the rest of the world, we don't ask them to necessarily care about Ukraine's territorial integrity and sovereignty. We ask them to care about territorial integrity and sovereignty as such, he said. Estonia, like Singapore, was among the 143 countries that backed a Palestinian membership bid at the UN General Assembly on May 10. Many countries have said Israel has gone overboard with its retaliation against Hamas for the group's attack on October 7, 2023, that left an estimated 1,200 dead. Israel's strikes on Gaza have killed at least 35,303 people as at May 17. If you are afraid of the war reaching your country, then the overall peace of the world in different parts is a shared concern. Ms. Kolas said. A Ukrainian defeat is definitely something that all aggressors will learn, that aggression pays off, that you can, in 2024, just go blindly and colonize part of another country. And nothing happens to you, she added.